We've been seeing a lot about smart rings lately, and typically there are some common drawbacks, including the price, subscription fees, the bulkiness, and sometimes the lack of features as well. Well, this is the Rincon Gen 2, and it aims to tackle all of those complaints with a new design and a couple cool tricks up its sleeve, including some really bold claims like being the world's thinnest and lightest smart ring, it's also the world's first smart ring to have sleep apnea monitoring, it offers up to 12 days of battery life in a clean and minimal ring aesthetic, all without requiring any monthly subscription. Now, Rincon sent me this before launch. It's currently on Kickstarter, and I'll have a link down below if you wanna check that out. And they also decided to partner up on this video. So in this video, I'll be talking about the highlights of this ring, what it is, and ultimately what it can do. Starting off with what the design is with this, you can see a bit different than most other rings, similar to the previous generation of the Rincon as well, where it's a little bit more squared off on the outside, obviously circular in the middle where your finger goes, but I think that has some benefits with being a little bit more comfortable. It makes it thinner on the edges where your fingers interact with either other fingers or anything you're grabbing. And then it adds a little more bulk on the corners where otherwise not really, like you never really need that. So you tend to not notice the bulk and, and they're able to hide a lot of things in the corner of the ring. I think that really uh, makes quite a big difference here. There's also four different colors available. Three of them are glossy, including silver, rose gold, and royal gold. And then there's a matte color as well that is matte black. The materials are fairly common that we're seeing on a lot of premium smart rings out there made of titanium alloy, PVD coating, AF plating, and medical grade epoxy on the inside. As you can see, that makes it a very light and, and very durable feeling ring. It also weighs, like I said, very, very little. This is just between two and three grams, depending on the size you actually end up getting. And speaking of sizes, you can get anything from size six to size 14. I also mentioned this is about one millimeter thinner than the previous generation. It's also two thirds of a millimeter less wide and about one gram thinner. So talking about the dimensions a little bit more, it is actually two millimeters thick in the thinnest part of the ring. You can see on the edges, which ultimately, like I said, is a pretty important part of the ring. It's also 6.8 millimeters wide, so when you put it on your finger, it doesn't really look that much like a smart ring. It's a lot more subtle than some other options out there. The sensors on the inside, there's really three main things it's doing. You have your PPG sensor, which does blood oxygen, heart rate, HRV, respiration rate, sleep tracking, like most of your stuff is done with that. You also have a temperature sensor, which ties in a little bit more with sleep tracking, and you have a three-axis accelerometer, which is going to be useful for tracking steps, uh, again, also used in your sleep tracking, and just general health in overall. So, like I said, this can do sleep tracking, heart rate, HRV, blood oxygen, respiration, body temperature, activities, uh, step tracking, like kind of all uh, normal stuff we'd see, whole picture health of how you're actually doing. And I'll get into that when we check out the app in just a minute. As far as durability goes, this is IP68 water resistant and dust resistant. Plus it's also rated for up to 100 meters. So obviously washing your hands is totally fine with this, but also if you plan on going for a swim, like you should be good as long as you're not diving more than 100 meters. Talking about some of the key features with this, as I highlighted earlier in the video, it is in fact the first smart ring in the world to include sleep apnea monitoring. They're claiming to be 90.7% accurate and they're currently actively pursuing FDA clearance. And sleep apnea is a pretty big deal. We're seeing a lot of smartwatches and other devices really starting to kind of talk about that a little bit more now. I believe it affects about one in four men and one in 10 women, and it can cause a lot of different health disorders. So having something that you can track at home, sleeping normally, not interrupted by like some sleep lab or something, and indicating whether or not you have sleep apnea could be really, you know, a life-changing decision to have you then, you know, if it says, hey, you have some sleep apnea, you can talk to a doctor and you can get that fixed and, and make some pretty drastic improvements. Also, the battery life, I think, is fairly interesting on this. It's a little bit unique compared to other rings on the market. So you're getting anywhere from 10 to 12 days, depending on the size. The larger rings last a little bit longer, but you have this little puck right here. This is your case. And the ring case actually recharges it way more than you'd expect. You'd think earbuds, you can recharge like maybe two times, maybe three times. This recharges the ring and allows you to have over 150 days, which I think is just a gigantic battery life. Like I'm gonna have to charge this, I guess, two to three times a year. So that's kind of nice. So you don't need to have this plugged in next to your bed every single night uh, to keep it always topped off. Instead, you just plug it in every now and then and uh, you know charge it up while you're showering or something like that. All right, now checking out the app, you can see a very basic layout in the beginning, very easy to interpret, just the fundamentals of what you'd actually need. So you can see your overall wellness balance. We can open up any of these and we'll see more in a second. 
you can see your sleep score, your activity level, your stress level, your heart rate uh, on there, your blood oxygen level as well. And down here, your health timeline right next to the sleep apnea monitoring. So that's the new feature on here. Essentially, all you have to do is you open it, you say start monitoring while you're sleeping. And then in the morning, uh, you'll see a little thing, a little slider right here. You can slide to end. And as long as you sleep more than three hours, that's kind of the minimum, you will be able to have some inf some information on whether or not you had sleep apnea uh, and what kind of the what kind of events you had last night. It'll also show you the risk of low blood oxygen, uh, the risk of sleep apnea as like a little indicator right there. And you can check out different nights as well. So your health timeline down here just kind of walks you through like, hey, you're stressed right now. Uh, this is your sleep score, kind of giving you a summary as you go throughout your day. And like I said, you can open up any one of these. So like sleep score, for example, you can see last night I got a sleep score of 76. I could improve the little improvable thing right here is my time awake. So apparently I woke up too many times last night. Um, I can leave a little indicator on how I felt. I felt pretty good last night. And down here, they give you, again, more insights into every single thing, as well as some tips down here that tell you a little bit more about uh, what's wrong with your sleep, what you can improve, your heart rate variability. They tell you a little bit more about what HRV is. Like overall, a lot of insights and really nitty gritty details if you decide to dive into that. Similarly, you could do that with any of the other ones here. Your heart rate, for example, you can check that out. Or what I like is on the top, the wellness balance. If I open up the wellness balance, what you can see is they give you some really nice insights, little paragraphs here saying, hey, your recent condition's good. Uh, you're in good condition to work harder um, and improvable actions. Again, focus on sleep time, awake ratio, maybe uh, you know lower your maximum stress. That's kind of common for everybody. You can see there's two numbers on all four of these quadrants here showing uh, yesterday's score compared to the recent seven days. So vital signs were better. Sleep was not as good. Activity was about the same. Stress management was not quite as good so overall i think this is really a useful app that makes it very intuitive for everything you're doing also we can go up to the top right and tap on the ring icon it'll show us the battery percentage 11 days remaining we can do some basic things like put it on airplane mode if you're flying and uh, otherwise if you want to if you want to find updates and things like that you can do that over here so yeah that's the ring con gen 2 summarizing the key points of this sleep apnea monitoring is huge now the battery life is significantly longer than many other rings on the market and much, much longer than a smartwatch, which you have to charge basically every single night. The size and, and weight of this make it very comfortable and lightweight and easy to forget that it's even on your finger and also very easy to wear on multiple different fingers. If you decide you don't always want it on your pointer finger, if you want it like your middle finger, for example, having flat sides on either side of this means you can kind of close your hand and it doesn't really touch the other side, your other fingers nearly as much as some other rings might. Also, if you're interested in learning more about this, like I said, it is on Kickstarter between August 1st and, August, and September 14th. I'll have a link down below if you want to check that out. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about this ring and if you'd like me to compare it to any other rings on the market.